Morning guys, welcome to the Monday Morning Sidewalk. This is uh, basically information about fly fishing in Texas and other ideas about things that uh, fly fishers might be interested in. Uh, three words that we got to take to heart after all the political happenings of last week are Vamos a Cuba. I can't wait. And now that Cuba has uh, kind of got a crack in the door, maybe we can have some other options for fly fishing in Cuba. A place that is only explored through uh, through very controlled circumstances right now. In the future, I think it's going to be blown wide open and it's going to be really a place that we can get to easier, uh, more easily, and um, a place that we'll be fishing a lot more. It's, it's an exciting time in, in, uh, in the world, isn't it? A few days before Christmas, so just to give you a heads up, I'm going to give you some Christmas uh, gift giving ideas uh, to start off. And one of them is, you know, a lot of us have a, a lot of experience in fly fishing and, and we have a lot of fly rods, a lot of reels, and maybe even a lot of fly lines. But if you don't have a lot of fly lines, there are a few lines that I've come across in the last year, maybe two years, that are really uh, worth your uh, uh, recommending to someone uh, as gift ideas because they're kind of exotic and they um, definitely will add to your capabilities. One is the uh, the Shard Grand Slam, a great saltwater line, a little bit of texture, but not a lot of texture to it. It's about a half weight heavier than what it says, so like a seven is a seven and a half. Very nice line. You can use that for uh, any saltwater floating line application as well as, definitely I use it for bass too in freshwater, so that's a good line. That's the Scientific Angler's Shard Grand Slam. And the other one is the, uh, I use this for my trout lines. This is a Scientific Angler GPX line. And everybody that I lend it out to people to use with different rods that I have and stuff. And everybody that uses this loves this line. So that's an SA Streamer Express. And uh, really, really just takes advantage of, of rods and how fast they are these days, even for small three, four, five weight um, trout rods. The last one is really, really exotic. A friend of mine turned me on to it this past year and it's the Streamer Express. Super heavy sinking line, sinks like a rock. That's a scientific angler, Streamer Express, and I'm starting to think that maybe this is what will unlock the doors at Texoma. I'm hearing a lot about big, big, big stripers on Texoma now. We're talking in a 20 pound range. Of course, the easiest way and most uh, typical way to get to those is conventional tackle, but that's not what we're about. So maybe with a with a, a line like this, the Streamer Express, it sinks like a rock, you might have a chance there. Um, of course, this is one of the happiest days of the year for me because officially, uh, yesterday was December 21st, that was a winter solstice, and now days get longer. As much as I hate the, the uh, longest day of the year because days start getting shorter, I love this time of the year because now days get longer. Even though we've got the cold months to come, we definitely are headed towards the best times of the year for uh, fly fishing here in North Texas and throughout the state. If you're paying attention, you know, throughout the state, uh, there's a lot of action going on in the Guadalupe River. People get time off. It's very close to Austin, and so I'm seeing plenty of fish still coming from there, and it's still a place you want to go for uh, some really nice, larger than average uh, trout action. That's rainbow trout southernmost point for fishing in the United States for rainbow trout. Also, if you want to go to the coast, the coast is still going on. Of course, uh, it's kind of like what I said last week with, with the fish moving off the flats and a little bit deeper water. So we're gonna, I'm, I'm actually going to do a little bit of both, hopefully in the next 10 days, and that would be fly fish some in Oklahoma on Blue River, and then also I'm headed to the coast on the 26th, the day after uh, Christmas, to be with family. So uh, they're not exactly on the coast, but I'll be in the Houston area, and I'd love to see you. Call me, text me, whatever, if you want to if you want to get together and go out and fish. I'll probably be bringing a kayak, too, just for grins. We might actually skip the salt, because I'm hearing about early, early uh, sand bass runs in a couple of the lakes there uh, around Houston, Texas. So that's it. You know, I've got only one more recommendation beside the fly lines, and that would be the uh, the hydro flask. You know, it was the winner of my contest of uh, what's the best water storage for us fly fishers. I don't know how many. I might have bought 10 of these for my friends and family by now. They're getting close to 10 anyway. And the hydro flask is the most fantastic water storage you can get. 18-8 steel, BPA-free. 
I've contacted the company. It's great stainless, even though it's made in China. You know, they actually do a lot of testing on the stainless. Part of the money from the cost of this goes to uh, uh, any, uh, it says 5% back, goes to uh, a uh, charity of your choice. It's on the, you save this and turn that in. So anyway, that's what's going on. Have a great Christmas. Um, I'll try to get back to you guys in a week, maybe a week and a half. Maybe uh, in between we'll have some uh, video from Blue River and whatever else comes across uh, our desk here at Texas Flycaster. Um, let me give you one more place to uh, to think about looking, and that is Hatch. They've got some new leaders and lines on their website, and I think that's pretty exciting stuff. I seriously, I don't know um, who makes their lines, but that'd be worth looking at because Hatch definitely leans towards salt water. And then uh, secondarily, of course, tapered fluorocarbon leaders are fairly hard to come by. I've only known of one company that makes a decent one, and that was Seaguar, but to see Hatch come out with uh, tapered fluoro leaders and, and saltwater weights is really a really an interesting uh, development, and you might want to get a few of those for stocking stuffers. Have a merry Christmas and happy holidays, and I'll see you in a few days, maybe a week, two weeks. Um, call, text, anything you want. At www.texasflycaster.com. Thanks to my sponsors, and we'll see you next time.